This is Amy Bacon with Spirit Pathways. I'm here with this week's reading. This is for today, Monday, June 14th, through this coming Sunday, June 20th, 2021. We all have desires and changes we'd like to make in our lives. Our focus is upon what's right in front of us. Our focus is upon our 3D daily life, where we seek to experience our personal definition of success and happiness. Our life matters, and our experiences matter. We use these life markers as a barometer for how well we are doing. And in our normal course of daily life, we seek to improve and call in what we deem will be a better and better experience for us. <clears throat> to achieve what really makes us happy and fulfilled, what if our 3D focus was impeding our outcomes? What if our outcome success was not held within the density of 3D and what was right in front of us? To speed results up and see better outcomes for our dearest desires, what if these things happen beyond our daily focus, outside of the 3D density? And it's true. Our swiftest and most positive alignments happen above and beyond the 3D density of daily life focus. Our ability to get out of our own way. Our ability to rise above any density our ability to raise our personal vibration up into the four, five, six and above dimensions of thought and space is what removes barriers, resistance and confusion to the absolute alignment to our highest and happiest outcomes. We are spiritual beings having a human experience. And as such, we are always striving to connect with our home base spiritual selves. Yet here in the 3D, we seek human experiences. We feel are important to our survival and to our happiness. It is our living incarnation achievement to transcend the mundane 3D density. It is our living incarnation achievement to bring higher vibrational spirit-led joy into our daily human lives. This is the ultimate joy of happiness. And we can define happiness as love, money, connections, real estate, or objects or experiences such as travel or spiritual awakening. These fall under the guise of human success stories, which are more quickly, more efficiently, and more satisfyingly manifested by working from a higher vibrational alignment. The act of observing your life in 3D from higher vibrational alignments allows you to enable the flow of positive outcomes far more easily than by tangling with all the drama and ego locked in the 3D density. Your ability to remove ego and emotions from outcomes and trust in the flow of life to provide you with all your desire, that's the single key to getting the outcomes that you're seeking. So the quickest way to raise your vibration is through your breath. Up, up, up. Breathing up. Just breathe. And aligning with higher vibrations and making your permanent home in the ethereal, lighter energy of your spirit self to assist your human self to transform and manifest your greatest joys. It's all in your breath. Breathing into your heart, breathing from your heart, raising your heart, higher vibrational alignment. And if you'd like to connect with your spirit-led self, have a reading. 
If you'd like to connect with your higher potential, have a reading. If you'd like to connect with all the help and loving assistance you have with your Council of Guides, have a reading. Now is the time. It's all available to you. And all the information for your reading is on my website, spiritpathways.net. And I can't wait to connect with you. All right. <clears throat> Nine cards. For the energy of this week. One, two, three, five, uh, three more. All right, let's see what we've got. I'm going to lay these out and go over each one to give you the energy. Look at those queens. Nice. For this week and how you can use it to your highest advantage. All righty. I think he was last last week, the Page of Cups. All right, let's start with these queens. The Queen of Swords. Ah, she's your logic mind. <laughs> she's your 3D mind. She is your wisdom and knowledge and intellect and experience and how you apply it and how it brings solutions to the life that you want to create. She's amazing at business. She's not really in her emotions. She's more into the outcomes. So she's giving you solutions to give you the practical um, outcomes that you need. The practical solutions to help you move forward in the things that you're experienced in. In the things you have knowledge and wisdom and want to apply to your life. And then she's completely balanced by this lovely Queen of Cups, who's all in her emotions. <laughs> she can't imagine just being logical. She's all about being creative and creating in her life and the solution that emotional connections brings for you. She's creative solutions, spiritual solutions. She adores her spirit-led life and her spiritual awakening. And she's able to apply it in tangible ways to her daily life. So she's the perfect balance to the Queen of Swords. And these two queens together give you exactly what you need for this. This, which is profound change. <laughs> The tower, profound change that you're so ready for. You don't need to be afraid of change because change brings blessings. When we blow the top off of something and we toss everything out the window that no longer belongs to us or is helping us or it's just things that are impeding us and blocking us and taking up too much space and energy. It's refreshing. <laughs> it's fantastic to do a complete clean out, to do a complete overhaul of everything that's no longer serving you. Just chuck it out. Allow that profound change because then you can get to the blessings. Then you can get to that greener pasture. It really truly is greener and better and more in alignment. So pay attention to what in your life needs profound and complete and total change. And let the solutions that the Queen of Swords and the Queen of Cups help bring you to that. And so once you have that complete clear away with the tower, then all these beautiful talents and gifts, tools and more wisdom and knowledge and experience is revealed for you and your ability to access these tools and gifts and talents that you're ready to use now, that you're ready to apply to your life. This is very, very important energy and it's hidden beneath all the clutter that's been building up, 
all the emotions that are building up, they are all clouded, which is why the tower is sitting there saying you're ready for a great big clear out so you can access the things that really matter for you. And the center card this week, the Eight of Pentacles. A lovely, straightforward, simple card that tells you to practice, to work at it, to keep going. Each time this person makes a new pinnacle, they get better. Each one is an improvement in the quality, in the alignment, in the time that it took for them to do it. This is amazing alignment for you. And so take the time, put in the effort, focus upon what it is you want to create and practice creating it. The first run is just simply practice for you to understand where you can improve and how you can make it better. And so keep at it, keep practicing, keep doing it because each time you get better and better. And this is bringing you amazing beginnings of emotional and spiritual and creative alignment. The ace is the beginning. And this hand coming out of the cloud means it's divinely sent. You don't actually have to figure it out, but you do need to agree with it. You knew, do need to align with it and allow it and engage with it. It's exciting. This is a beginning, an emotional beginning, a creative beginning, a spiritual beginning for you that is going to bring you so much deep satisfaction that's going to continue to grow and grow because that's what the Ace does. It begins something that grows for you. The Three of Cups says, <laughs> let's balance all this with a bit of just lightening up. Let's just lighten up and have some friends. We're all ready after this crazy year and a half where we've had to connect with some friends to just join together and celebrate. So this lovely simplicity of allowing your connection to the people that you love and care about and are curious about and want to connect with to begin and to bring you even more balance with that. And the Wheel of Fortune is assuring you that your prayers have been heard and they've been answered and they're being acted upon. And yes, you might not be seeing some of these things tangibly right in front of you right now, but things are happening. The momentum has been building. Things are happening behind the scenes, so please have a bit of patience, continue with what you're doing, absolutely continuing with this practice here and improving what you're doing, allowing yourself to do more research, allowing yourself to learn more information, that's the little books in the corners. It's all going to happen. It's called the wheel, <laughs> the wheel of fortune on purpose. It's bringing you your fortunes. The universe, your guides, they're all aware of what you want to create. And so they're helping you behind the scenes facilitate everything. And now this lovely Page of Cups, I think he was in the same position last week. Emotional beginnings. It goes perfectly with the Ace of Cups above it. Both of these cards are beginnings. The Ace of Cups, everything's going to begin and build. It's divinely sent. The Page of Cups, amazing emotional relief for you. Oh, just, you know, emotionally, it's getting better now. It's getting easier. It's, you're having the epiphanies and the ahas and the awakenings and the understandings of how to do things differently, of how to open up the energy for yourself. And that's going to give you the outcomes that you want. So allow these lovely emotional beginnings to serve you and to benefit you. And keep practicing. Keep working at it. That wheel is turning. We're in a temporary space now. So enjoy yourself while things come to fruition for you. And I am here to help you address specifically your own personal life and what's going on with you and how to get to all of the outcomes that you desire. Please have a reading. I'm here for you. All the information is on my website. 
spiritpathways.net. Have a wonderful week, and I will see you next week. Bye-bye.